So on one of our uh, previous investigations of magnetism, we showed that when you force a current through a coil and it's in the presence of a magnet, it will cause that coil to turn. And I have an example here. You can't see the coil. There's a coil in here. And when I apply electricity, the magnet forces the coil to go around. And this, of course, is a, basically an electrical motor. Now, what's really interesting in the world of electricity and magnetism is that things tend to work in both directions. So I have here a very, very small uh, ampere. It actually measures microamps. And it's connected, as you can see, to a small coil of wire, but there's no source of electricity. It's just a coil of wire and this meter. And what I'll do and just take a magnet and run it through that coil. Now, I don't know if you were able to see that that coil or that moving magnet is actually making that microammeter needle deflect a little bit. But we can do a lot better. This is just a very, very simple coil. I can get a much larger coil. I have my solenoid here again. So again, if I connect the solenoid to this ammeter, there is no source of electricity. It's just a coil and a meter. However, as soon as I run, now you can see it deflects very wildly. In other words, I'm generating electricity. Now notice if the magnet sits still, nothing happens. But as soon as you move the magnet in either direction, you can generate electricity. Now, what's interesting about that is you can do that with these two. So these two little toys are essentially the same thing. I'm going to turn the coil on this one. I've connected it to the other one. So this one is becoming an electrical generator, making electricity, and that one becomes a motor. If I reverse direction, it goes the opposite way. If I come over here, I have another <clears throat> kind of a coil. Uh, and again, there's no other source of electricity other than the coil. I have wires. But I have connected to the end of the coil, or the wires, a small LED. It's actually a bicolor LED. And I'll show you what happens. I've connected the LED to the little hand generator. It's a little electrical generator. And when I start pumping the crank, you can see you get a bright green LED. Now, of course, when the crank stops going around, then the electricity goes away. If I reverse and go to the other side of this LED, now you can see a nice, beautiful red color. So it's actually a two-color LED. And right here, I have essentially a flashlight that has no battery in it. There's a little LED here that should light up when I turn it on, but it's not doing anything. And the reason it's not doing anything is not connected to any power supply. There's a magnet in here. I can show you that it's a magnet. That magnet picks that up, and you can see there's a nice coil of copper wire. So if I take the time to energize now, the light comes on, and the harder I shake it, the brighter the light is. Now, of course, to generate this electricity takes a lot of work, and people themselves don't like to do that. Uh, you can buy a generator. You could go to Lowe's or Menards and buy an electrical generator. Uh, a gas engine will turn a coil and a magnet for you and generate electricity. But that's a lot more expensive than just relying on OPPD which uh, burns coal or other sources of energy to create steam to turn a turbine, which turns a very large coil in a magnetic field, which makes electricity for all of us to use. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of electricity and magnetism.